up guys welcome back to my channel wow so um this is my very first video for this year as you can see this is us at where where we stopped last year 700 subscriber shout out to my subscribers shout out to my new subscribers and okay that's that's it uh, so before we get into the video so i uh, today i'm going to be publishing a new video of course and then this video would be based on comments recommendation on a previous video so i have video on approval workflow in business central so i have um a part three requests and i have sequence of part three requests and also we have a part three requests and i feel if i do not do this video mm, i might lose some subscribers or you know so um this is very important for me so i can also grow my community so if you're new to this channel, do subscribe. I offer development, web development, and also business central development learning parts. And if you have any other special requests, uh, you can drop a comment, like, share, and subscribe. So let's get into it. So um, if, let me see, let me see. We stopped, um, was it part two? part three no part two of a the approval workflow but we were unable to test and see how the reality of what we have been building so in this video i'm going to be showing you the reality and also advice on other advances that you could do and if you also have some other suggestion you can also drop it in the comments box below so let me collapse this page and move to my other browser so initially the project scope was we are working on different approval process as you can see this file is still the way it was the last time we left it i actually forgot about this particular application until i saw sequence of comments so we have we have series of pages we have action page approved action we also have approved drama and frictional page we also have the list page which we have the action list page and the drama and also the frictional so what we need to do is once we publish this application to whatever environment you're using you should be able to see let's see what's the name of this list again this is let's see action youtube video list so we should be able to search for video list right so we should be able to see an empty list right so this is my network issue okay as you can see we have an empty um document so in order for us to test this through so i'm going to be clicking on the new action button and then i see probably this is one for the video id and also i can see um subscribe to my channel as the title right and the description also i can also do the same and that's about it remember when you're working with a real life situation um this input box should not be editable because that is why we have this approval process within the page <clears throat> all right so <clears throat> i'm assuming this is the initials and i am done imputing and uh, giving my input right so i want to send this one approve approver so the first thing i do is to click on request for approve 
So you can see I have the message, no approval workflow for this particular document. Why? So we've not enabled approval. So I'm going to show you different things to consider and the likely errors you will be getting at your end. I have um, previously tested this before shooting this video and some some things are already available for me but the first thing you want to put in place is approval user or the first thing you want to be sure of is go to the users and once you click on users you should be able to have at least two to three users before you can test this approval sequence because uh, it's fine for you to be able to request for approval and other persons is able to approve it if that makes sense right so once this is checked if you have list of users but none of them are sh currently showing or you just have only one active showing you can always click on update users from microsoft and then you click next then you follow the button and then it should be able to update um, the users so the next thing to do is you want to go into approval user right so approval user setup you want to make sure that the current logged in user is user heidi is currently on this um form so you can see I'm currently logged in as an admin and this is my user and I also want to add a test user which is the second user and I want to see this area called approval ID. I want test user to be responsible for my approval. This is pretty straightforward. So after you've done this, the next thing you want to do is either you search for workflow templates, right? You need to synchronize your workflow first. So the way to do that is you come to action and you click reset Microsoft templates. So it is going to take a um, um, few seconds uh, of a few minutes. So it is done. So once it's, once it's done, you need to scroll right below to check for your approval template. You can see we all have it here. So the next thing to do is to exit out of that page and search for just workflow. So I can... Right? Workflow. So... Um, I'm imagining you do not currently have it here because I added it already. So you, if you have a blank um, template here, you need to click this drop down here and see new workflow from templates and you scroll all the way to the workflow and double click this. So once you double click, click this, it's going to bring out this dialog box. And the only thing you need to do right here is to enable right so once you enable this workflow you close this window right you can see the sequence of settings we did we confirmed we have two or more users in order for us to be able to test this workflow right and the next thing we did was to go into the approval users and check if we have assigned an approval id for our user id <clears throat> so the third thing we did here right is to check the workflow template and reset it so it can synchronize our newly um, developed workflow right so we further then went to a workflow page to enable our workflow right so uh, this should be pretty pretty straightforward if you have or encounter any issue do drop a comment right so um so what we do here now is um so uh we need to create a new document for some reason something is wrong and my um so let me say two and say okay and that should be the description also because i do not want to waste much time here so you can see this current button is active and it means i can request for approval 
so i click this and then you see automatically an approval request has been sent yes we did it all right so i want to click on ok uh, just to confirm you can see the current status now is on pending approval which is like the normal sequence as at which it should flow right so i want to go to the home page um, currently i'm making use of um, sales and relationship manager so there's also a way you can also make it like a full customization you could create a row center for for your customization and also add the necessary action buttons in the navigation panel and you can also add some queue buttons based on what your customization is all about though if you want a video like that that has full comprisings of all these effects or um, actions you can also drop a comment below i am definitely going to make a video of such so i want to come down to this approval section you can see because i am the one requesting um, for approval i can also check and see okay I, I can see currently i have two requests i can see the first one is for document one right and the other one now is um the document two you can see if i should expand this you can see we have youtube category video action and i can come to this record once i am highlighted on this this is so i can also scroll down and see who is supposed to approve this i can see test user right so we can also add functionalities if we have we are dealing with transactional money we can also um we are we have the flexibility to update that within this amount and this is pretty much it we can see last modified by we can see our user id and we can also see the date approval due date which is still today right so um this is basically it we can also drill down into this information by clicking on record right so we can click record to see whatever data this um, is needing our approval if I am the one to approve you know this is an essentially necessary for me to see so that I know what point of action I can take either to accept or reject so um, let me be sure uh, so you need to log into the other user and then you should be able to find a request to approve and then the flows goes on from there i'm sorry i'm not able to showcase this i also want you to um exploit that part but i definitely assure you that these are working i'm not just sure where i saved the login for that particular user i have been searching for it so let me see if i can reset this and i still do not want to elapse the um the time i have scheduled for this particular demonstration so this is basically it if you are familiar with um our workflow works definitely this you know already that this works okay so uh, I believe this is basically it. So I am going to be dropping some other videos starting from today. You should be getting updates um, from today and my channel should be busy with updates. So I'm going to be providing reports, videos, more on integration videos and more complex customizations and we can also see custom approval workflow aside using the system based workflow and i can also show you so many in-depth how uh, you can also suggest video you want me to take i can also take you the functional aspects of business central if you do want those 
uh, sort of video I think I should even try making one or two you know you shouldn't just get the development knowledge from this channel you should be able to um, understand the functional part because as you know I'm a techno functional developer I work with the front end and also the back end and you know this what gives you more inspiration in achieving um, more or being conversant with how this whole system works so if you want a one-on-one -on -one, um lecture from me you can also contact me uh my linkedin page is oyobo wale aziz and i am always open to get your updates i also check you can see i also check you can see oyobo wale aziz you can message me and i would um surely respond and that's that's about it please do subscribe share and the goal for this year is to actually uh, multiply this subscriber times three yes i know this is a lot but yes that's the goal for this year and thank you for watching um do have a nice or wonderful day.